Hello Pre-K and welcome to another lesson in our remote learning experience. This week for your themes work, we're going to talk about kites. But there's a trick to this. There are two types of kites that you are going to find out we're going to talk about this week. One is the kite that we use on a spring day to fly in the air. And as you can recall, in one of our earlier lessons, we talked about wind and how wind is the pressure that is placed upon an object to make it move by air. So it's the same concept with kites. Later on this week, your parents will see a video of the simple kite that we are about to make in this video. So what you're going to have is a piece of paper you're gonna fold the piece of paper so that each corner can meet. Then you're going to, if you have crayons or if you have markers, you can decorate it any which way you would like so that it can be pretty. So I am going to decorate it after I assemble it. So what you're gonna do, again, is you're gonna fold the paper, corners, and then if you have a ruler at home, you are going to measure two inches from the edge of the paper and just take a pencil or a pen and mark that. And take your ruler again and measure from the line another two and a half inches. So I'm doing that. I don't have a pen, so I'm using a pen, a pencil. I don't have a pencil, so I'm using a pen. And I don't have a ruler, so I'm kind of estimating, which is fine. So what you're going to do is the corner of your paper, you are going to match it to the first marking that you made. Do not fold it down. Leave it without folding. Then you're going to take the piece of paper with your two fingertips and go on the reverse side and match up the corner to the reverse side with the corner that you just made. So if you see it, it looks like this. So it kind of looks like pre-K, kind of looks like a paper airplane. Then you're gonna take your stapler and you're gonna staple those two sides together. Like this. And that's what you're gonna get, okay? And what you're going to do is your second, where you put, place your second marking, you are going to make a hole. The video tells you to use a hole puncher. I do not have a hole puncher at home. So I'm using the sharp end of my pen. Don't do it yourself. Ask mom or dad. So I'm making a hole. Then you're going to need some yarn or some string. I have... Just some string here, just gonna cut it. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna thread it inside of that hole that you made. See, mine thread it through. Then you'll tie it. I hope you've been learning how to tie with mom and dad. You'll tie it. And when you go outside, that's what your paper kite will look like. Now, when you go outside, obviously I'm inside the house and there's no wind inside the house. But when you go outside on a windy day, the wind's pressure, the air's pressure of the wind will keep this afloat in the air. And then you hold your string and you will see it flying through the air. So now I will decorate it a bit. Remember, so I'm just gonna put, just gonna put a flower on each side. But you can decorate it any way you want. And put a little hearts. 
And if you have stickers, you can use stickers if you would like. You can paint it first and then let it dry for a day and then make your kite. So this is your kite pre-k, your simple little kite. Now, I hope that some of you are working on your diamond kite um, that I asked you to do for a challenge this week. So if any of you make that diamond kite or if you made our simple kite, please have your mom or your dad videotape um, and you testing your kite and see so that we can see you on Hi Mama. All right. Thank you, Pre-K. Bye-bye.